Hello guys, nice to see you again. Today we're going to be talking about mic. And we have all known that in the beginning of this year something happened. Let's first take a look at the video first. You have an annual salary in 2020 was $434,000. You oversee over $5 billion in federal research grants. As the highest paid employee in the entire federal government, Yes or no, would you be willing to submit to Congress and the public a financial disclosure that includes your past and current investments? After all, your colleague, Dr. Walensky, and every member of Congress submits a financial disclosure that includes their investments. I don't understand why you're asking me that question. My financial disclosure is public knowledge and has been so for the last 37 years or so, 35 years that well, I've been director. The big tech giants are doing an incredible job of keeping it from being public. Uh, we'll continue to, what, to look for it. Where would we find it? All you have to do is ask for it. <laughs> I, I, you're so misinformed, it's extraordinary. Well, why am, I, have to why am I misinformed? This is a huge issue. Wouldn't you agree with me that, that you have a you see things before members of Congress would see them, so that there's a, an air of appearance that, that maybe some shenanigans are going on. You know, I don't think that's, I assume that that's Senator, not the case. What I are you talking it's not about? The case. My, but, my financial disclosures are public knowledge and have been so. You are getting amazingly wrong information. So uh, uh, I, I cannot find them. Our office cannot find them. Where would they be if they're public knowledge? S S Where? It is totally accessible to you if you want it. For the public. Is it accessible to the, to the public? public? Okay. To the public. Great. We look Senator forward Marshall, to reviewing totally it. You are totally incorrect. Well, Senator we look Marshall, forward to the, reviewing it. Senator Marshall, Dr. Fauci has answered you. It is public information, and he's happy to give it to you if you would ask. Senator Moran. What a moron. So I wonder whether you have heard of that. Um, if you haven't, you can raise up your, the volume of your speaker. But I can try to see if you can play it again. Marshall, Dr. Fauci has answered you. It is public information, and he's happy to give it to you if you would ask. Senator Moran. What a moron. Yeah, I guess you have all heard of that. Um, I, I think at the beginning you can see that Dr. Fauci was speaking. It's a financial disclosure that includes their. He was speaking, but he forgot to turn on his mic, and at the end, he also forgot to turn off his mic. But how does it happen, and uh, how does this work? So today, let's look at this from a research perspective. And I think you have all seen that uh, in the video, uh, the senator and the Dr. Fauci are all using this type of a uh, gooseneck microphone. And that they are, the key thing of this microphone is the, 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 the microphone right over here. It's type, it's called an electrolyte condenser microphone. And uh, what is that? Let's take a look. You can see in that tiny microphone head, there's a, a tiny condenser microphone right over here. How that work is that it's basically a, a capacitor. And the capacitance of the capacitor changes according to the rhyme of the sound wave that hits the diaphragm. Uh, how does it work? Um, let me uh, go in more into more details. Our waveform is like a, a sound pressure in a wave style, which travel along through the air, and it goes like this and this, this, 
and it hit my microphone. You can see here. It's like something tapping the microphone when the air hits the, or the sound wave hits the mic. mic. But you can see that the key thing is the frequency. So when I I'm talking, I'm a male, my, my, my pitch is about 100 hertz. So you can, the, 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 the sound wave, um, especially the peaks of the sound waves or the energy peaks is hitting the microphone in a freak around the, the, the frequency of 100 hertz. But my voice changes, especially the, the fundamental frequency and the formant frequencies, it changes. So all of these information are transmitted through the waveform and goes into this microphone and uh, it got captured by this uh, diaphragm and the diaphragm converted the, the pressure along the time into the capacitance along the time. And then the circuit records all of these and then later on it converts the analog signal into digital signal. And uh, usually it's gonna be sampled at uh, either 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. But then later on, if you want to do speech recognition, it will be down sampled to uh, 16 kilohertz. Or if your voice is going to be transmitted through telephony, telephony channel, it's going to be even down sampled to 8 kilohertz. So, so you can see this whole sound wave, uh, analog signal and digital signal uh, procedure, okay? And the, if you buy a headset from Amazon, which is about uh, ten dollars to thirty dollars, usually you will get something called a, a condenser microphone. So it's a cheaper one. But uh, for for Dr. Fauci and his uh, senators, uh, they, when they're using uh, this uh, microphone in the hearing, they're using something better. So they have something called a electrolyte condenser. So what does it do? So it does some extra things. So they, instead of the, the, the capacitor alone, the, they have a, a, what do you call it this? It's a tri, tri diode or di diode. Tri out. it's a tri out, right? Um, it has a voltage on top of this um, um, capsules back, back plate and polarize the, the film with an external voltage. So you may ask why people do this, because it makes the microphone more sensitive. Okay. This is why uh, for a microphone or headset, which is only about $20 from Amazon, uh, it's not that sensitive, but these, these ones are fairly sensitive and it follows a, a pattern. What does that mean? So it says it's a cardioid, cardioid uh, polar pattern. It looks like this. Let me explain how this works, okay? The, the interesting thing is uh, this microphone I'm using is also a cardioid microphone, okay? And it, of course, it's a... a Electro electrolyte microphone, okay? And the frequency response pattern of this microphone is a cardioid. So it's pick up the sound with high gain from the front, okay? So you can see this is the front, okay? Um, I really have to tell, I think this, this side is front. The left side is the front. Um, this side is front. And the, but the right side, the back of it, uh, it, it can sense poorly from the rear. So you can see, so if I speaking in front of it, something like this, okay, it's more like this, um, or something like this, um, it will have a high gain, right? And the gain will reduce if I moving my head to the side, a new insider and the voice is 
fading because the the frequency response or the magnitude of my voice is attenuated in the reverse direction. Well, why people want to design a microphone like this? Because this is called a directional microphone. They want to enhance the speaker's voice other than the uh, interruptive speaker's voice or ambient noise, okay? This is a directional. And the, so then you can understand what happens uh, during the hot mic uh, accident. So Dr. Fauci was trying to say something uh, and he didn't mute the mic. So, so you can see even he is trying to getting away from the microphone. He thought that, you know, he, he's okay. And even he, he tried to use his hand to cover the microphone. The case is that it's no longer like the, the telephone we have in the 70s or 80s. So when, you, you, can just, you can just cover the, 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 the mic and the, nobody can hear you. But this thing you can see, this microphone is fairly sensitive. You can hear me, right? But what he really should do is, you know, having his head to about here. What I am, I, I spoke with the same volume, what I am. What I am, what I am. So you can see the difference, okay? So the lesson we learn from here is that don't forget to mute your mic if you don't want us to be heard during your Zoom meeting. All right. Have a nice long weekend and I'll see you in July. Bye, guys.